Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about QAs and testing engineers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, can you define the difference between an, a, an automation engineer and a QA? It seems like there is an overlap between the two. Yes, uh, I would say that that is very true. Uh, the overlap is, I would say, almost 100%. A, depending on how you well uh, of course somebody's going to be able to correct me on this but uh, on average the role of a QA in a test engineer like it's like it's ambiguous like what the differences are the may because I uh, it's a word uh, let, let's talk more about what it's trying to express without like getting committed to that this is the perfect definition of the two because the thing is if I try to define an automation engineer or a test engineer or someone like that, well, the thing that that term is expressing more is that, well, you're actually into automation and that could be more things than tests necessarily, of course, but on average what you're going to be focusing on is writing things such as end-to-end -end tests or even unit tests, if that's the thing. Like, you're, you're focused on increasing the level of coverage and quality of the testing strategy within the company and usually doing that through code. In other words, you have to know programming. Now a QA doesn't necessarily have to have that role. A QA can be much more about just like things like manual testing, but then again the test automation engineer can also be doing manual testing. Like it's uh, it's usually something that they both could be doing, right? And the QA can also write the test depending on how whatever company you're applying to how they define the like the boundaries of the role that you have so if both of these terms I would say that they depending on how you define it they are the same thing it's just that on average a QA is someone who doesn't necessarily write automation and like uh, automate tests and end-to-end -end tests and so forth and but they both fill the same purpose they're there to assert that the system is working as intended and they have many to again QAs and test engineers they have many tools that are disposable to do that um, they have uh, a, like there are many different strategies for how to do testing and it's a full-time job to be a QA or a tester you can actually go to school and educate yourself and like become a tester of software if you'd like to uh, and if you're an automation test engineer, like a, I mean, a lot of the ones that I know, they have some, like, they have knowledge of QA work, but primarily they are also software developers, so they write, like, actual integration tests or end-to-end -end tests and so forth. And in some cases, you have. Q, you, you don't have an automation test engineer or QA like the developers do all the work or like they do it between themselves it really comes down to like what the company is valuing like what the company wants to invest in and at least in my experience usually if you're gonna have if you if you have a QA or a team that does like the testing or helps out with the testing you ideally want someone who works as an automation test engineer because it's usually the it's a you you get a compounding like an exponential return on investment of that person, whereas a QA with only, who only does primarily manual testing is just linear. You add one person and then the system grows and then you have to add another person. Uh, I mean that you 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 need less people. Like that's the whole point of automation, right? that you need less people to do all the things that is necessary in order to assert that the system is working. So what I want you to take away from this is that to define the differences between an automation test engineer and the QA is a little bit tricky because depending on how your company or like the person you're talking to, how they want to define it, these two roles are identical because a Q, like a QA work is in essence the same thing as an automation test engineer is doing. It's just that we're trying to make a 
we're expressing a nuance to the thing because usually a QA is a, is a person who doesn't necessarily do any coding. It's someone who does manual testing, talks to the teams about like scoping of like bugs and so forth and manages that part of the development process. Whereas a automation test engineer is usually someone who writes code, writes end-to-end -end tests, uh, integration tests, things like that, or in some and in some cases unit tests as well. Uh, but these roles they can be they, they can be one and the same so it really comes down to an expressing a nuance between uh, between different things you might be doing in order to assert that the system is working as intended and most of that work is really down to that you are the person the software developers hands over their work or like you displace their work to and you assert that it's working as intended and there are many strategies to do that there's education and there's like schools that you can go to and uh, you can go on online and look up like more uh, different types of strategies that QA work involves uh, if you want to learn more about it have a great day